Hey guys, Ashley with Techno Buffalo here. We are checking out iOS 7. And you know, there's some things now that iOS 7 has gone live that people are not huge fans of, or you know, they wanna adjust. So we're gonna adjust 10 small things in iOS 7 to change your experience. The first thing people might want to adjust is parallax. And this is the thing that causes the screen to have a little bit of depth where the wallpaper is. So when you move the screen around, you might be able to see that the, uh, the background kind of shifts. Uh, if you don't want that to happen, that's okay. You can totally fix that. All you have to do is go into settings and you actually wanna go into general and accessibility. It's in accessibility. And from there, you wanna look for reduce motion. So when you tap on reduce motion, we just go ahead and toggle that and it will kill off the parallax effect. Well, the next thing you might wanna do is shut off Control Center for certain apps. So let's say you play games or there's something in particular that you don't wanna draw Control Center up for. So we wanna go back into settings and from there we just have to go to Control Center and from here, you can choose access on lock screen. So if you wanna have control center on your lock screen, you can turn that on or off or access with an app. So if we wanna shut that off so that we can't actually access uh, control center in an app, you can do that. A lot of people have been talking about battery life in iOS 7. And if you wanna shut off something that might help your battery life, you can head into your settings and shut off background app refresh. So this is in settings and in general. So if you go there and you look, you can see there's background app refresh. If you tap on that, you have a couple of options here. So you can completely disable background app refresh by toggling this off or on. Uh, but instead of that, I'm gonna go ahead and actually toggle a few things that I don't use. So if I wanted to disable stocks, uh, maybe weather, uh, different things like that. But keep in mind that anything with a blue arrow next to it is a GPS app that sometimes needs to refresh in the background uh, because it has location services available. So if you're using Google Maps and you navigate away from that app, the multitasking will actually stop uh, refreshing that app. So you don't wanna actually disable things like Google Maps. Just keep that in mind. Uh, I would say go individual apps on this one, but head through your list, toggle off whatever you don't use, and that should help your battery life, even if it's just a little bit. So notification center is something that they've added a little bit to. We've got three tabs here, but what if you don't want that view? Well, you can adjust your notification center by going into settings, heading into notification center, and you can see you have some new options. Uh, you can shut off your notifications on the lock screen. You can shut off the today view, which will kill off your, uh, your calendar. Or if you want to kind of granularly go through each one of the options for today view, you can actually set those. So if you don't want to see your calendar day view, you can shut that off. Another thing that automatically turns on in iOS 7 is auto app updates. Uh, if you wanna shut that off because, you know, sometimes you don't wanna automatically update an app, it might be broken, there could be a bug. Uh, all you have to do is go into your settings and you wanna look for iTunes and App Store. From there, you'll have a couple of options. Uh, you can show all of your music and videos and all that good stuff, uh, but here's what you're looking for, automatic downloads. If you wanna do app updates, you can do that here. If you wanna shut that off, you can. Uh, you can also shut off automatic downloads for music and apps, just in case if it's something you're interested in, uh, those are some other options that you have available to toggle on or off uh, to your liking. One of the features in iOS 7 that people have been kind of complaining about today when it was released is the fact that in messages and sometimes in mail, it will actually shorten the name of the person sending you something. So if you have more than one person in your contacts list with the same first name, uh, that could be problematic, but you can fix that. You just go into settings, and from there, you wanna go into mail, contacts, and calendars. And from there, you're gonna scroll down and you are going to look for short name. So here is short name. Uh, you can see there are some different options. I'll go ahead and pick first name and last initial because I like short name, but I wanna make sure that I sort of know exactly who is messaging me. So one of the features in iOS 7 that's interesting is you can now teach Siri to pronounce a name that maybe they have not done a good job of pronouncing in the past. So camera guy Ralph, his last name is Yerenas, but Siri probably doesn't really understand how to pronounce that. So we're gonna try to get Siri to learn how to say Ralph's last name. Is you me, Ralph Laranus? That's not how you pronounce that. Okay, how do you pronounce the name? Ralph. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation should I use? Ralph. Okay, how do you pronounce the name? Yerenas. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation should I use? Yerenas. Yerenas. 
So obviously better than before, uh, still not quite 100%, but you can't expect that from a robot every single time. Uh, I'll take it as long as it can be improved in some way, shape or form. iOS 7 uses Bing as the search default. Um, we're gonna just look this up really quick just to double check. Find images of Buffalo. So there's Bing right there. Um, and of course we can look on Twitter and all this good stuff, but what if you wanted to search via Google? What if you weren't a fan of Bing? Uh, you could then say, Google images of Buffalo. Searching Google for images of Buffalo. So you can still go ahead and do that via Siri. It's just one extra step of them opening up Safari and searching, but you can tell Siri to use Google as your search engine. It's just a little bit of extra work. Some people have complained about the text being not quite bold enough for their taste. Uh, you can actually fix that. It's in the accessibility options. So if we go back into settings, we go into general and then go into accessibility. Uh, we have some options, but here it is right here. You can actually turn on larger type uh, and bold text. So if you do that, it's actually going to restart your iPhone. So uh, let's hit continue and restart the phone and give it a second and hopefully when it restarts, we'll see some bolder font choices. Now, of course, this takes you back to something that's a little bit more like iOS 6. So it's not for everybody and it definitely changes the design of your home screen. But if you like that bolder font, it's definitely a choice for you and is available for you to toggle on or off. If you're looking to find out when somebody sent a text message, which can be a little bit frustrating if you don't know how long ago somebody sent something, you just wanna go into messages and then just swipe over from right to left and you can actually see the timestamps on the right side of the screen. So it's a super easy way to see when somebody sent a text message to you or when you sent a text message to somebody else. So there you go, 10 tips to adjust and customize your iOS 7 experience. If you guys have any questions about iOS 7, leave them down in the comments. Check out all of our coverage of the iPhone 5S, iOS 7, and iPhone 5C over at technobuffalo.com, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.